to make french fries, potato chips, whatever name you want to call it. Today I am joined by my two sons, Shorya and Shiv, who are going to help me make the potato berries. You might also know them from their own channel, Tandem Bros. And they have some amazing recipes too that you should check out. Hey guys! Hey guys. Okay, so the choice for these potato wedges is that we're not deep frying it, but we're air frying it. Harvesting some of our dill and parsley for our recipe. So to make these potato wedges, we are going to be boiling the potatoes and the second step is when we make the veggies in the air fryer itself. And the third step is to eat it! For four medium sized potatoes we will need four cups of water. Okay, So first we are going to pour the water in. Then we will put the potatoes in. Add it it and we we'll put it for boiling. We are going to be boiling it for two whistles on the pressure pan but you can boil the potatoes however you find it convenient. Now that the potatoes have boiled and the water has cooled down we're gonna peel them. The next step is we are cutting the potato into thin slices for the french fries. You can also keep the peel if you like. I don't uh, because the boys don't like that way but you can. Um, and, and we're going to add these herbs from our garden. Um, parsley, dill, cilantro and chives. And FYI, these are from our own garden and they smell amazing. Uh, after this, once uh, I'm going to show you how to do all of that, but once we have done that, uh, we're also going to put some salt and some pepper into the Make potato. Sure. We are going to be using these herbs, but you can use any herbs that you have at your home. Okay, so we are going to be using one tablespoon of oil. Perfect. And we will also use about one spoon of the herbs. We don't need to put all of them. Sure, we can save some of these herbs for you. And one thing I'd also like to say is that that is the positive of the air fryer is that we only needed to use one tablespoon of oil, nothing else. Exactly. Also, um, now I'm putting about a pinch of uh, red pepper. Again, these are to your liking and your uh, to suit to your flavors. And about one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so now in this step, we're going to be using some olive oil and we're just going to spray it on the pan a little bit. And, and I'm going to turn the knob to 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 minutes for preheating. Friends, we are preheating our air fryer because it needs it, but yours may not require it. Also, we are doing it in the air fryer, but the same step you can continue to do it in a pan and just do a shallow fry if you want to. Okay, so now we're going to give it a toss. Yes. Now that the uh, air fryer has preheated and it's hot, where's safety minutes? You want to put it in? Let's transfer the whole. Should we get that one into? Right, I'm putting these in for 375 degrees for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to take it out and give it one toss. 
shake it up and put it back in for five more minutes to make them golden and crispy. It's done. Okay, so let's take it out. Oh my God, look at those potato wedges. So here you go, boys. Thank you. And everyone, thank you. Here's a treat for all of you of the French fry. Oh my God, good. Right, bye. 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 See you next time. See you next time.